Hello students. So I am Dr. Gayatri, your Ops and Guide faculty and we are back with the 12th topic in our NSA 25 series. So today we would be discussing about Bishop School. Before going into the topic, let's have a look at these two previous year questions. Which among the following is not included in the Bishop School? The options were cervical length, cervical dilation, station of head and type of pelvis. The second question was to calculate the Bishop's score when the cervix is 1 cm dilated, 30 percent effaced, soft, vertex minus 1 and the position is posterior. So we'll discuss the answers by the end of this session. So Bishop's score can be easily remembered with the mnemonic pink desk. That's a pink desk. P is for position, D is dilatation, E is for effacement, S is station, and C is for consistency, pink desk. So we'll discuss them one by one. So each of these components is given a score of zero to three. That is zero, one, two, and three. The maximum score is 13 and the minimum score is zero. Now let's see them one by one. So the first was position. The position can be posterior, mid position, or anterior, zero, one, and two. Posterior, mid position and anterior. Next is dilatation. So dilatation can be closed, that is 0, 1 to 2 cm, 3 to 4 cm and 5 to 6 cm. 0, 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5 to 6. You can remember this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 to each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. Next is effacement. So 0 is 0 to 30 percentage, followed by 40 to 50 percentage, 60 to 70 percentage and more than 80 percentage. So initially it is 0 to 30 percentage, then 2 each. That is 40 to 50, 60 to 70 and more than 80 percentage. Now after effacement coming to station. So the station can be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and 0, followed by 1 and 2. Next is consistency. So the consistency can be firm, medium or soft. Firm is 0, medium is plus 1 and soft is plus 2. But in the first question, you might have noticed that there was a cervical length which was given and that is not given here. That's because it's a component of the modified bishop score. So this is the bishop score and now we will discuss the modified bishop score. So in modified bishop score, everything is similar to the bishop score except that the effacement is replaced by the term cervical length. Effacement is replaced by cervical length and it is very easy to remember the cervical length. It is just the opposite of dilation. So dilation was closed 1 to 2, 3 to 4 and more than 4. It is just the opposite. So, for cervical length, the score of 0 is more than 4, 1 is 3 to 4, 2 is 1 to 2 and score of 3 is 0. Just the opposite of dilation. So, among these, the most important parameter is cervical dilation. So, if they ask you the most important parameter among these or the most significant parameter is the cervical dilation. Now, coming back to our first question. So, in this scenario, the dilation was 1 cm, 30 percentage effaced, vertex was at minus 1, soft and the position was posterior. So the position of posterior gets a score of 0, dilation 1 cm gets a score of 1, 30 percentage effaced again it's a score of 0, soft gets a score of 2, station minus 1 gets a score of 2. That is 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So the total bishop score is 5. So please note that a bishop score less than 6 is suggestive of an unfavorable cervix. And in such a case, we will go for induction of labor. Now coming to the other question, which among the following is not a component? So we know that in the modified bishop score, again, you can remember the pink desk. That is P is for position, D is for dilatation, E is for effacement which is replaced by the length of the cervix in case of modified bishop score and S is for station and C is for consistency. 
hope that makes it very clear and easy for you and you are never going to forget the bishop score again so we will be discussing more high yield topics from obs and gyne and if you find these videos helpful please do subscribe and we'll be back again with the next topic till then bye bye